And now, Adopted Daughter, starring the author Jeremy Ann Hopkins. Adopted Daughter is the absorbing story of a courageous young wife and her fight for home and happiness. Attention, please. If you like to make your own dresses and the children's school dresses, please listen. Today I shall announce for the last time our radio feature for this week, the new fall showing of Rondo Deluxe Dress Prince. And the thousands and thousands of women who have come to see them can tell you how astonished they were that cotton prints could be so stunning and yet be actually lower in price than ordinary run-of-store designs. And that explains why famous Rondo prints are probably in more homes than any other fine prints ever made. For in creating Rondo prints, we told leading fashion artists to discard dull, standardized designs, to adapt instead those typical of the richest, most luxurious fabrics, those found in the loveliest imports from Paris. They did. And that's why this fall's new patterns are so utterly different from others, regardless of price. You'll be charmed by the exquisite florals so richly elaborate, by the smart new checks, and especially by the gay, colorful plants. Even the new polka dots and small patterns for children are fresh and new. And the new plain colors are all the rage this fall. The fabric itself is made of the finest selected cotton. A special finishing process keeps it fresh and new looking, and it is positively color fast to washing. And to make a perfectly stunning dress costs only a fraction of what you'd expect. School dresses, even less. That's because Rondo Deluxe dress prints are priced at only 15 cents a yard. Actually less than most ordinary kinds cost elsewhere. And at 15 cents a yard, you can afford as many dresses as you want. So come to your J.C. Penney store today. See this unusual display because it will tell you in advance what's new in colors, patterns, and fabrics for fall, and make your sewing plans right now. For this is part of a great nationwide service the J.C. Penney Company offers women who love nice things, women who want to be well-dressed on limited budgets. It's why millions of America's most attractively turned out women dress at Penney's. Well, the hour of little Jenny's departure for New York and the World's Fair is at hand. All of Jenny's new and made-over dresses have been carefully packed in her small suitcase. There's a clean handkerchief and three crisp dollar bills in her new blue pocketbook. And her eyes fairly shine from the excitement of it all. Here they are, Jack, Jerry, little Jenny, just alighting from the family car and stepping onto the depot platform. And there's Roger Morrison coming down the platform to meet them. I'm beginning to wonder if I was going to have to make this trip all alone after all. Yeah. Dr. Roger, they wouldn't hurry. I tried to make them, but they wouldn't. You know, she wouldn't even let us eat at dinner in peace. All she did was jump up every two minutes to see what the clock said. Well, I wasn't really so terribly alarmed. After all, Jenny, it's only 6.50 now, and the train doesn't leave until 7. Now, you see what they tell you, Jenny. You have plenty of time. Time to go back and eat our dessert. But I just couldn't eat any more, honest. It all sticks in my throat, kind of. Please, I don't want to go back. Oh, I was only kidding, chum. This has really been a hectic day at our house, Roger. I can tell that from looking at you. I didn't know that getting one small girl ready to take a trip could be quite so much trouble. Goodness, I hope I've packed everything she needs. Oh, I'm sure you have. If we miss anything, we'll buy it, won't we, Jenny? Yes, I have lots of money in my parking book. Oh. See? Three dollars. Of course. <laughs> yes, sir. book. Say, by the way, Roger, I'm not able to give you the, the amount of money I know it'll cost you for Jenny, but I did scrape up an extra ten. Here. Say, now listen, Jack. Uh, this whole idea was mine from the beginning. And what small extra expense Jenny will make is mine, too. Oh, no, no, no. I'd, uh, I'd feel better about it if you'd take this. I, I know it's hardly a drop in the bucket, but it's the best I can do right now. Want to spoil our trip by talking about money? I oh, don't. You've got 101 places for that particular ten spot. Use it where it's most needed. Ah, oh, Roger, it makes me feel like a heel not being able to do my part. Isn't it about time for the train? <laughs> well, it's all of eight minutes yet. Goodness, have you ever saw a slow train? I never have. <laughs> uh, can you imagine that? Are you that anxious to get away from us? 
No, but... Jenny's actually hurt Jerry's feelings today, Roger. Oh. How have I? By being so anxious to leave. Now, here we thought you were kind of fond of us. And now all you can think about is getting away from us. But that isn't it at all. No? Mother, dear, I didn't mean it that way. Oh, of course you didn't. I understand perfectly. When I'm going anywhere, I can't wait to get started either. Shall we go in the waiting room and sit down or wait out here? Cooler out here, unless you're tired standing. No, I'm all right. Roger, I packed your things in as small a suitcase as possible so you wouldn't have a lot of extra luggage to worry about. <laughs> I can put that little suitcase in my pocket. It'll bother me a bit. Well, it'd hardly go in your pocket. Now, let me see. There were so many things I had to tell oh, you. Listen, I've looked after youngsters before. None of us suffered. Will you please promise not to worry about anything? And we'll promise to drop you a card every day. Oh, I'm not really worrying, only... Oh, I do hope she won't be a lot of bother to your Aunt Matilda. Aunt Matilda loves kids. I've already had three letters from her telling me all her plans for Jenny. Oh, oh, yes, Jenny's never slept all night on a train. I hope she won't be afraid. Well, I'll have the stewardess keep an eye on her and put her to bed. Am I going to bed on the train? Well, I should say so. But I never have saw any beds on a train. <laughs> <laughs> they have them all right. Are you going to sleep on the train, too? With your life. Goodness, isn't it about time yet? No, uh, no, chum, just relax. Let me see. It's about about six minutes to go now. Say, Jerry, I thought Charlie said he was coming down to see Jenny off. I know, but he's been at the courthouse all day looking through those old records. He said he wouldn't leave unless he found out what he was looking for. Yeah. Because he wasn't going to get into that mess again. I would very much like to tell Uncle Charlie goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll tell him for you if he misses it. Roger, yes. Jenny does have to be a little careful about what she eats. She likes peanuts, and they never agree well, with her. after all, Jerry, Roger's a doctor. He should know all these things. Well, uh, lots of things I don't know, Jack. Uh, however, uh, I could suggest a remedy if she eats too many. No, you better... uh, and see that she wears her hat with a wide brim, Roger, when she's out in the sun a lot because she does burn so bad. Oh, now, Jerry, Roger won't remember half of these things you're telling me. I'll do my best. Say... That's a pretty nifty-looking little outfit my traveling companion's wearing. Did you make it, Jerry? Yes, I knew she'd need something cool and sheer that didn't show the dirt too quickly. So I went to work and cut up an old polka-dotted sheer dress of mine and made that for her. Did a fine job. Well, don't look at my stitches too closely, or you know that I wasn't cut out to be a dressmaker. And, Roger, yes. if she asks too many questions or bothers other people when they're talking, you've got to promise to send her right on home alone. I promise. I promise, too. I'm going to be a perfect little lady. <laughs> I'm sure of that. Dr. Roger. What? What's the matter? Do we have to have tickets? Well, I already have them. But look, one for you, one for me. But they're just the same size. Of course, why not? Well, isn't mine supposed to be just half as big? Why so? Because Daddy Jack says I'm going half there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, there's no difference in the size of the ticket. <laughs> well, then, could I just hold mine? No, no, no. You better let Roger hang on to the ticket. You've been um, a little careless lately. Say, by the way, Jen. What? Don't you go turning Roger's hair gray by doing any of those disappearing stunts you've been doing in the last year or so. Running away and high checking, you mean? That's it, exactly. High checking. You better hang post Roger's coattails so you won't get lost in New York. I will. Oh, dear, I bet you something is wrong with that train of cheese. Yeah, no, no, it's not seven yet. Still three minutes up. And, Roger, uh, if she gets homesick, oh, I, I don't know exactly what to tell you to do. I won't get homesick, I promise. I hope she's right. That would be a tough one for me to handle. And don't let her be a bother. You have so many friends to see. Don't feel that you have to take her every place you go, because if you do, she'll be a perfect nuisance. Jerry. Oh, can't you just leave her with your Aunt Matilda when you go places? She's going to go every place I go, as a protection. I know that old gang of mine too well. I can't keep up with them anymore. Oh, now, Jerry, just quit worrying about it. Sure. Yes, we'll give me a chance to have a little rest if you just forget all about her for the next two weeks. Not even think about me, you mean? You think it'd be a good idea? Well, that's what you want us to do, isn't it? Not just exactly, no. I, I thought you were going to miss me. Oh, don't worry. They will. Why, they'll... Uh-huh. There she comes. Yes, yeah. so she's rolling down. Oh, where's your bag? I uh, checked everything but this one small case. Well, Jenny, better start saying those goodbyes. It'll be long now. And it looks as if we're the only passengers. 
But the train won't waste much time here. Well, there. How does that look to you? Mother, Jerry, I don't very much like to say goodbye. I know, darling. It isn't very easy for me, either. I'm going to be so lost without you. Now, now, look here, you two. No tears. No no tears, you hear me? Why, Jake, maybe I shouldn't go. Maybe I shouldn't go. Don't tell me you're going to desert me, Jenny. Say, look. There comes Charlie. Jack, they're living. Oh, hi there, Charlie. Oh, Say, you hi. Boy, you just about missed this train. Well, I, I was afraid I was going to. Boy, you've been running. <laughs> hey, Jenny. Why, uh, what you looking so mournful about? The last minute she's feeling badly about going. Oh, well, she'll get over that. <laughs> Won't you, honey? I don't know. Yeah, oh, here, here. I, uh, I, I brought you something. What is it? Well, you can open it on the train. I put a little letter in your purse for you to read on the train, too, Jenny. Hey, nobody's going to even be on that train if they don't start getting out of it. Right. right here, Roger. I'll help you with a suitcase. Oh, don't need to bother. I can manage. Well, Jack and Jerry. Thanks for trusting me with your most precious belonging. I appreciate it. Uh, come on, Jenny. Yeah. But I don't know where that I Come on, kiddo. Come on. Oh, come on, young fella. Get on. Get on. Let's have a swell time for all of us. Okay, careful, 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 Jenny. Don't trip on no step. What now? Don't forget to write, Jenny. Oh, she won't. Uh, thanks again to both of you for the honor. Uh, okay. Uh, tell the big town hello for me, Jerry. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, Jimmy. Statue of Liberty, a big kiss for me. That's it. Have a good time, Jerry. <laughs> Look at her wave, Jerry. It's a cute. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Tom. Goodbye. 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 Jerry. Let it get you down. Oh, I'm sorry, Uncle Charlie. I never realized how much she means to me until... Oh, Jack. There are tears in your eyes, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got a cinder in my eye. You want my handkerchief? Yeah. Thanks. The house is going to seem a little... empty, isn't it? Oh, yes, I just dread going back to it. Yeah. So I... Thanks. Say, say, wait a minute. Charlie? Mm hmm? Jerry said you wouldn't leave the courthouse until you found what you wanted. Yes. Then that means Camel's title isn't clear to the Sonson property. Uh, no, no, no. There isn't a thing in the world wrong with Camel's title to that swimming pool land. Oh, Uncle Charlie, but you said. No, no, son. His title's perfectly clear. Uh, oh. Yes, but, uh,. I have found out something else digging around up there at the courthouse. You have? You've been there a long time. What? Well, uh, Camel can have his pool all right. Oh, yes, yes, he can have his pool all right. <laughs> but not one single soul can go swimming in it without your say-so. What? You heard me. Not one single solitary soul. And I don't mean maybe. Well, we hope Charlie knows what he's talking about. But then he usually does. What is it that Uncle Charlie has found? How could Jack possibly keep people from entering the new camel swimming pool? Be sure to be with us on Monday to find out. Now hurry to your J.C. Penney store and see those lovely new Rondo dress prints. And here's another surprise. You'll need things in our notions department for sewing. So this week, we are also featuring notions at marvelous prices. Four and eight cent notions that offer you everything you need. At four and eight cents, you select thread first, of course. Needles, elastic, buttons, bias tape, and rickrack braid, those indispensables for smart cotton frocks and aprons. Skirt belting, if you're making a two-piece dress. Tape measures for perfect.